Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a leaf patterned fake cable. I use on this video Neko's curved double pointed needles. I have only 3 needles instead of normal 5, so knitting with these needles is faster than normal straight needles, but it's still very easy and fun. Check out their website to learn more. Start knitting by casting on number of stitches evenly divisible by 5. After that, knit, knit 3, purl 2 ribbon 3 rows before beginning the real pattern. So this step is only transition and you need to knit it only once on the beginning. And this is how the work looks like after 3 rows. Let's start the leaf pattern then. On the first row, you need to seek the yarn through the cable's middle stitch 3 rows below. Like this. Then knit 3 stitches. And after that, seek the yarn through the cable's middle stitch 3 rows below again, so the same stitch. Make sure that the stitch will be loose enough, then purl 2 stitches. Repeat the same pattern. Seek the yarn through the cable's middle stitch 3 rows below, knit 3 stitches, and seek the yarn again through the same stitch then purl 2 stitches repeat again seek the yarn through the cable's middle stitch knit 3 And seek the yarn again through the cable's middle stitch 3 rows below. After this, purl 2. Seek a yarn again through the cable. Knit 3. Seek the yarn again through the cable, make sure that the stitch is loose enough, and then purl 2 stitches. Keep on repeating this same pattern until the end of the row. And this is how the work looks like after first pattern row. On the second row, you need to slip the first stitch without knitting, knit 3 after that, slip one stitch again without knitting, and then purl 2. Slip
slip. Pearl. Pearl. As you can see, you just keep on pleating the ribbing and slip the second stitches without knitting. Keep on repeating the same pattern until the end of the row. And this is how the work looks like after second row of the pattern. On third row, you need to decrease the secret stitches away. So first, decrease by slipping one, knit one, and pass the slipped stitch over the knitted. Then, knit one, and Decrease one stitch by knitting two stitches together. After this, purl two normally. Repeat again. Slip, knit, pass the slipped stitch over the knitted. Then knit one and knit two together. Purl 2 Repeat again, slip, knit, pass the slipped stitch over the knitted, knit 1, knit 2 together, purl 2 Slip, knit, pass the slipped stitch over the knitted, knit one, knit two together, and purl two. Repeat the pattern until the end of the row. And here you can see how the work looks after first pattern. Next, you need to repeat the first pattern row. So start by seeking the yarn through the cable's middle stitch 3 rows below. Then knit 3 Seek the yarn again through the same place. Purl 2. Seek the yarn through the cable. Remember 3 rows below. Knit 3. And seek the yarn again. Then purl two. Keep on repeating the same pattern until the end of the row. Next, repeat the second row. So slip the stitches you seek it without knitting and Continue the ribbing just like before.
After the second row, repeat the third. So decrease the stitches you see it on the first row. Slip, knit, pass the slipped stitch over the knitted. Knit one, knit two together, purl two. Slip, knit, pass the slipped stitch over the knitted, knit one, knit two together, and purl two. Keep on repeating until the end of the row. Continue repeating rows 1 to 3 until the knitting is on the desired length. And here's the final look of this fake cable. This ribbing is very flexible because of the added stitches on the pattern, so that's why I suggest you to leave about 10 of the stitches out of the ribbing, so the result won't be too loose. So if you example want to create socks with 50 stitches, create only 45 stitches and add 5 more stitches after the ribbing. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again.